All right, so today for our letter U craft, we are going to be making a child holding an umbrella on a rainy day. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need your black crayon and then your watercolor paints and your cardstock white paper that we've been using. So to start out with, we want to draw the umbrella shape. To make the shape of the umbrella, we're gonna draw an upside down U shape. So go ahead and draw an upside down U. It needs to be, take up a bit of the paper so then the person underneath it doesn't have to be teeny tiny. And then we're gonna make a zigzag line down here that connects these two parts of the U, okay? So a zigzag line looks like a little bit like triangles and just go up, down, up, down, up, down like that. So take your crayon and we're going to draw up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down until your two lines are connected, okay? Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Just like that. And now I want my umbrella to be kind of colorful. So I'm going to go up to the top I'm just gonna draw two lines down. So then when I go back and paint, I can make each part of my umbrella a different color, okay? And now it's time to draw the child who's underneath the umbrella. Now they're holding the umbrella way over them so you don't see their head, if you can look at mine. So we're just gonna draw their coat and then their arm holding the hook of the umbrella, okay? So, we're gonna start about over here on the left-hand side and under your umbrella, draw a line down. And then come over on the right side of your umbrella and draw another line down. It can be angled down a little bit since they're wearing maybe a raincoat. And then draw a line connecting the two. And now, closer to the left-hand side, you're gonna draw Another line straight down. That's kind of where the coat comes together, where the buttons would be. And then let's put a couple buttons on the coat. Ready? I'm going to do three buttons, but you can do a few more if you want. And now we need to draw the arm of the child who's holding the umbrella. To draw the arm, so we've got this little line here where the two ends of the coat come together and button. You're going to draw little line down here and then another one down here so that's their arm and then just connect them too so it almost looks like a triangle without the point do you see that and then we're going to draw a little letter U underneath and that'll be their hand let me scoop this in just a little bit and now you can draw so the hook of an umbrella is sometimes shaped a little bit like a letter J. So that's what we're gonna do over here. We're just gonna come down and right where your arm is is where you're gonna draw that letter J since the child is holding the umbrella. And the J and the little hook should be right on top of their hand. So there's the umbrella handle. And now we have to draw their feet there. Otherwise they're just floating in the air and we don't float, we walk. So to draw their feet, their legs, we're gonna draw straight line down. Then we're gonna draw another straight line down right next to it, but make it a little bit shorter. So then you can draw a little bump and their shoe, and then do another little straight line, shorter than that last one, and a bump and their shoe. And then you can draw little straight lines across so that you can see where their legs are and where their boot starts because they're gonna be wearing rain boots for jumping in puddles. And then last, we're gonna draw a puddle that they're standing in. All right, and your puddle can be a circle or it can be kind of a squiggly circle because puddles usually aren't perfect circles. So I'm just gonna draw kind of a bumpy, curvy little circle. And that's the puddle that my child is standing in. And now it is time that you get to paint. So when we paint, our puddle should probably be blue. And then if you look at mine, I added some raindrops. So before you add raindrops, I want you to paint the rest of it 
you know, fun, bright colors. And then you can add some raindrop details at the end. Now, it's okay to put raindrops on the umbrella because the rain's hitting the umbrella, but should we put raindrops on the kid? Probably not. And why wouldn't there be raindrops on the kid? Because they're holding the umbrella. The umbrella is keeping them dry. So you can draw a rain going down and getting on the umbrella, but let's not put raindrops on the kit, okay? And then once you are done painting, I want you to take your black marker and you're gonna write a capital letter U and a lowercase letter U in the top right-hand corner. And then in the bottom left-hand corner, you're gonna write the word umbrella. I made my pedal a little too big, so my word umbrella doesn't fit very nicely. And then when you're done, go, make sure you save it and bring it back to school on Tuesday when we get to see each other in person again. And then I can hang them up in the hallway all together just like we usually do. All right? So I hope you have fun drawing and painting your child holding the umbrella. And I will see you guys next week in person for art. Okay? Bye, everyone.